So here's everything you need to know about the new Xbox OS. Oh, and it's not even called Xbox OS, is it, AJ? What's uh, it called? Uh, Xbox Big Picture Mode. Yeah. There's some really exciting stuff. There's some stuff that I'm a little bit disappointed is admitted from this. Yes. Um, some bits that are a bit of a compromise. They haven't gone the whole way, I guess is my yes. overarching feeling. However, I will say what we have seen is a huge increase in quality of life versus what we have currently. Yeah. So it is much, much better. It's just not quite exactly where we want it to be. If you're new here and unsure what we're doing, we are in Cologne for GamesCon. Yesterday was the announcement of the Xbox Ally and Ally X, and we got hands-on testing it all for you, so we're giving you all the deep dives, and today is about the operating system. Yes. I've got to start off with the implementation of game library, a unified game library experience. Yes, yes, yes. That's massive. It's massive. So they've, they've got the aggregated game library where when you're in the library section of the Xbox Big Picture mode, you've now got games from Steam, yeah. Epic, wherever you want, yeah. it will be there. And it also goes back to the last played section. Yeah. So it will show you from any game. Which feels like they kind of borrowed that a little bit from, like if you're used to your Xbox operating system, like you have your recently played tiles. Yeah, yeah. But now imagine that across all of the game yeah. libraries. Effectively, exactly cool. like Armory Crate is currently on yeah, yeah, like yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they've kind of borrowed that. Yeah, they have. Now, I want to just continue on th that point for a second with when you launch a game now from one of those systems, so when it's not from Xbox, yes. instead of it minimizing to a Windows desktop, mm. and then you get the splash screen and then the game starts, which is kind of immersion breaking in terms of like a console experience. Now, it does not minimize to Windows at all. It will stay big picture mode and it will just go full screen, even with that splash screen, and then you're into the game as if you were launching it on a console. Yeah, that, that's huge. And also alongside that, there is now a dedicated games library button as well. It is a dedicated games library button. On the right-hand side at the top, yeah, uh, I wish I hadn't done this, but they flipped the buttons, they the orientation. Buttons. Yes. So I keep going to press like the what would be the start and select buttons at the top. Yes. They now put them up slightly underneath. Yes. Yeah. Underneath the arm crate and the game library. Yeah. So what you have now on the allies is reversed. So start and select are now at the bottom, and where you previously had command center and armory crate buttons, they're effectively on the top. But instead, now we have an armory crate button on the left, mm -hmm. which is previously where command center was, and on the right. Instead of the armory crate button, we now have the dedicated library button and, of course, the Xbox button on the far left. And it's worth saying, uh, you were trying your best to absolutely break the operating system experience by mushing these buttons as I was. possible. And we were on like testing units here. Yes, yeah, so it's pre-release. It's going to be pre-release version of the operating system yes. as well. Uh, and it's snappy. It was really quick because I was specifically, because they're all very similar buttons with library button going to the, the home page with the Xbox button when you're not in a game and then pressing the armory crate button as well. Mm. I was just going backwards and forwards, like pressing them as quick as I could and they are snappy. One issue I have currently with the Ally X is armory crate is a little bit slow. Slow it is. And yeah. if sometimes you press a button and it takes a couple seconds before it does the action, this is absolutely instantaneous. Yeah. It is quick and I was really glad to see that. Whilst we're talking about buttons, there is now the new Xbox button. Yes. Which obviously is a new thing on these devices. Devices. Um, if you press it once, it takes you into the Xbox section of the game bar, if yep. I remember yep. rightly. Yep. Press and hold is my favorite thing. Yes. That brings up basically an alt tab kind of menu so you yes. can scroll between. It's a carousel. Currently, yeah, currently yep. open or recently open applications, basically. Yep. yep. Anything you've got open, you can just slide between. Which is really nice yeah, if you want to yeah. quickly go to like the, the Xbox homepage, whatever they're actually yes. calling that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if, if you're in a game, instead of literally bringing up the keyboard and going alt tab, or yeah. previously in command center, you could have show desktop. Yes. Instead of that, press and hold the Xbox button and then just swipe or to click on the button and you can go back to the previous screen. It's really cool. Really Again, good. it's snappy as well. Really fast. In line with it. One of the reasons that's so snappy is we've got confirmation now that Xbox OS actually frees up two gigabytes yeah. of data because it is minimizing processes in the background of Windows. One thing they didn't talk about with co the Copilot implementations, how much of the NPU is helping with the operating system as well. We yes. talked about it in how much it's going to help with upscaling. Yes, yeah. But they didn't talk about how much it helps the operating system's yes. resources. And that's probably why it's so snappy, is because of that help. One of my biggest bugbears with um, my Ally X experience was any time I wanted to load a new game in particular, shaders. Yeah. Advanced shader delivery for this select titles at launch, and I guess it will roll out for more and more as time goes on. Yes, but it is coming at launch 
for, and it's incredible how they've implemented it, isn't it? It's essentially, from what I gather, shaders are kind of preloaded as the game is installing. Uh, installing. Yes. Massive. Because the huge. time save there is huge. Absolutely huge. So when you install that game, it will be alongside installing shaders for that game yeah. and compiling them. The, the only thing I have a question mark on is every time you get a graphics card update, yes. you need to recompile shaders. Yeah. So will it just do it like as soon as it's updated the system, will it just go through all your games automatically? Or will you then have to boot a game, wait for the shaders like normal? Quickly on the game bar front, we were worried about how Armory Crate's gonna be implemented into yes. this new operating system. They've just put Armory Crate into game bar. Yeah, it's the first a simple yeah. solution. It's first hub of game bar. And I, I mean, I wanna say it, MSI did it first with yeah. the MSI clause because yeah. they integrated uh, Center M with their like quick settings within Game Bar, and effectively this is that. Now there is a dedicated button for it. Mm -hmm. So whilst you've actually got the Xbox button with a single press will bring up Game Bar, you also have the Armory Crate button, which will also bring up Game Bar. However, because we were discussing this, yeah, yeah. Here, like, is that a confusing? And I said no, because if you're in a game and you want quick settings quickly, then instead of opening Game Bar and maybe you're on the Friends tab, yeah, and LB you've, got a, over. you've got to switch tabs no, I don't want to do that. I want to press a button and get immediately into my quick settings to change TDPs or whatever it will be. Yeah. Now you've got the Armory Crate button on the top left, and you press that, and it goes immediately to that tab. Yeah. Uh, along, whilst we're talking about like navigating stuff, gamepad control is implemented from, literally from install. Yes. There was a lot of rumors about them doing this, uh, Windows working on it, so you've got gamepad control from the off, which is such a dramatic quality of life improvement. Massive. Yeah. yeah massive. Uh, even on things like um, if you're putting in pin codes and stuff or passwords, mm -hmm. the gamepad control that you're used to from your console's experience, like the left trigger as caps, all of that stuff's implemented in this. Yeah, so we've actually, Huge. the keyboard, you can actually use the controller yeah. now. You're not like forced to touch screen or forced to put in a separate keyboard. You yeah. can do that from controller. Yeah, so, so some really big quality of life improvements, some really simple solutions. There are a couple of negatives, I've got to yes. say. Yeah, yeah. The, the first one, which is something they've uh, admitted from this, which I can't understand why they didn't do it, they said they're going to try working on it, quick resume. Yes. There's no well, quick resume currently. There, there's no quick resume currently, and they didn't really say they're going to try. They, they, they said they can't confirm nor deny that they want to do that. So that's a, we want to do it, it's just we can't do it yet. We haven't and, figured it out. Yeah, and and I mean, I get it, it is still Windows fundamentally. Yes. So that is going to be a big thing here. Yeah. And I, whether or not they will be able to, I don't know. I really don't know. And, and for me, that's the biggest upset here yeah. because that's the thing I love the most about consoles and Steam OS is quick resume. It's a, a big saver. It's, it's huge, yeah. yeah. Especially like, you know, if you're playing for a game that doesn't have regular save points and stuff. I know that seems quite a niche problem, but yeah. it happens. You have, to, if you're gonna go, I need to close it now. Yeah. Now my game yeah. state isn't saved. Yes. Let alone the fact that on like Xbox or Switch or yeah. Steam, the quality of life of being able to just to boot straight back into where Absolutely. it was. Absolutely. So big. And I've had first hand of that currently, because I'm still playing through Ninja Gaiden Ragebound. Yeah. And I've actively been picking up my Z1 Extreme ally that's got some Steam OS on it because I can play. And then when I get frustrated and rage quit, I can just, just I can just turn the system off, come back later, yeah. because there's no active save. Whereas on Windows, I can't do that. I have to finish the section and get to a save point first. And it's very frustrating. Uh, and talking of it still being Windows, it is still Windows, and there are some it's still Windows problems. Yes. Updates is one when you're talking about like driver level and firmware kind of level updates mm. of stuff. You're still going to have to back out into Windows to do some of it. Some of it. So we specifically asked, and they said it's better, but they said it's 50 50 now, they yeah. said. So I think the majority of stuff will be able to come through. Uh, like in Xbox big, big picture mode, yeah. but for some things you will have to back out to full desktop to update, which is a bit of a shame. And the other one alongside that is the initial setup is still, you're still setting up Windows 11. Yes. But they did confirm it is stripped down, so there are some, you wouldn't confirm which, but there are some many features that aren't there anymore. Yes. If OneDrive is still there, I'm going to set fire to the world. Uh, <laughs> but the good thing is, is they said that it's fully uh, able to be done with a controller. So they've yep. designed the install and like setups phase for with controller in mind. Uh, and that they have minimized certain screens like that you would see where it's probably like, would you like to set this laptop up with your phone or something Office like that? Office 365. Like, all that yeah. rubbish. So we won't know that until we get 
our units in, but you know, obviously we will test all that. And, and we've stuff. specifically asked for, uh, from the press team for the, the units that we get to be fresh installed, so we yes. have to go through the yes. pain for you. Yeah, so we can show you exactly what's yeah. going to happen. Uh, so I think that my biggest disappointment is the name, uh, yeah. and the biggest excitement is They've actually done it. They've done it. They've done it. It's so much better. The quality of life is huge. And with everything else we've been talking about, if you don't know what we're talking about, subscribe and check out our other videos. Mm. But all of this comes together to make something that's actually quite special. Yeah, much more coming on the Xbox Ally and Ally X. So make sure you subscribe, like this video, join the channel members, all that stuff. And we'll see you maybe for some more videos from Cologne. Yeah, how pretty it is. See ya. Bye.